Tonight I'm reading Corduroy's Christmas Surprise by Don Freeman. I used to love Corduroy because he's a very cute little bear. So here we go. Let's get started. More title pages again. There was only a week to go until Christmas and Corduroy could hardly wait. There was one of the best times of the year. Corduroy loved the smell of his Christmas tree. He loved taking the ornaments and lights out of the closet. He loved stringing popcorn and berries and trimming the tree. And that was only the beginning. Corduroy's list of fun things to do at Christmas time went on and on and on. This year, Corduroy thought to himself, Christmas was going to be even more fun than usual. His best friends, Mouse, Rabbit, Dolly, and Puppy, were coming over to spend Christmas Day at Corduroy's house, and he had little gifts for his guests, so he pulled out the wrapping paper, tape, and ribbons. Wrapping presents always got Corduroy into the holiday spirit. That reminded Corduroy that he hadn't written his letter to Santa. What did he want for Christmas? Well, thought Corduroy, it would be so fun to have ice skates this winter. He could use a new warm sweater. Oh, he had always wanted a train set. And a new ball would be nice too. Corduroy wrote his letter in his nearest, neatest, best printing. You can see his little letter right there. Just then the doorbell rang. Ding dong. Corduroy put down his letter and went to the door. And there were Mouse, Rabbit, and Puppy standing in front of his house. And they were singing, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. When the carolers had finished, Puppy said, Corduroy, grab your coat and come with us. We'll go caroling at Dolly's house next. So Corduroy did just that. He put on his coat and scarf and the four friends made their way over to Dolly's house. As they began to sing, Dolly opened the door. She looked so surprised. Then Dolly invited them all inside. I'm putting up the finishing touches on my gingerbread house, she said. Why don't you four come in and help me? A real homemade gingerbread house? Corduroy had to see this. And what a gingerbread house it was. It had lots of windows, a fancy front door, and a chimney. Corduroy could hardly believe his eyes. This is one of the best things about Christmas, said Dolly. Don't forget Christmas trees, said Corduroy, and Christmas carols, said Rabbit, and Christmas presents, said Mouse. Everybody laughed. Then they started talking about what each of them wanted for Christmas. Dolly said she wished for a pair of ice skates. Puppy said she'd always wanted a train set. Rabbit said he could use a new sweater, and Mouse said a brand new ball would be fun. Corduroy didn't say anything. How could he tell them that he had put had written to Santa to ask for all of those things. Back at home, Corduroy found his letter to Santa right where he had left it. He decided to make a few changes. What, it, what if there weren't enough presents to go around? What if Corduroy got what he wanted, but his friends didn't? So Corduroy pulled out a new piece of paper and wrote another letter to, letter to Santa. This is what it said. Dear Santa, please bring ice skates for Dolly, sweater for Rabbit, trains for Puppy, and a ball for Mouse. I don't really need anything this year. Thank you, Corduroy. Corduroy put the letter in an envelope. In his neatest, best printing, he addressed it to Santa Claus at the North Pole. He stuck on a stamp and sealed, sealed the letter shut. Then Corduroy pulled on his coat, his scarf, and his boots and he walked outside to the mailbox and dropped the letter inside. He hoped Santa would get it before Christmas. A few days later, it was Christmas Eve. The very next morning, Corduroy's friends would be coming over to celebrate with him. Corduroy was getting ready by baking Christmas cookies. He hoped he had made enough. Those look pretty good to me. Before Corduroy knew it, it was time for bed. But first he had two important things to do. He hung his stocking on the mantel, and he left milk and cookies on the table for you-know-who. 
Maybe Santa wouldn't be bringing anything for him, Corduroy thought. But he was so happy that his friends would get exactly what they wanted. Then Corduroy climbed into bed. All night long, he dreamed of the happy looks on his friends' faces when they opened their presents on Christmas morning. The next morning, Corduroy sat up in bed and rubbed his eyes. It was Christmas Day. It had finally come. Corduroy looked out the window to see a crisp, sunny day and a fresh blanket of snow on the ground. Then Corduroy rushed out to the living room to find lots of presents under the tree. Corduroy could see there was one labeled for mouse and one for rabbit. There was one for dolly and one for puppy. And could it be? There was one for Corduroy too, and extra presents for each of them. Corduroy was so surprised. Now he really couldn't wait for his friends to arrive. Look at all those presents. Once everybody had come, Mouse, Rabbit, Dolly, Puppy, and Corduroy sat down together by the tree and opened their presents. Dolly got ice skates and a scarf. Rabbit got the sweater he wanted and a picture book too. Puppy got the train set of his dreams and a new hat. Mouse got a ball and some warm winter boots. And Corduroy got ice skates and a sweater. How in the world did Santa know that he wanted that? But really, Corduroy thought to himself, the best Christmas gift of all was that he was surrounded by his friends on Christmas Day, and they were all so happy. That made Corduroy happy too. He would have to write one more letter to Santa to say thank you for all the best, for the best Christmas ever. The end.